Um, so for this, each student will be writing kind letters and doing kind things to another student in their class who will be assigned to them. And this is a lot of fun because they will do, try to do it without revealing who they are. Um, and students love being sneaky about it. They love writing the letters and they love doing um, kind things for each other. Um, and it's also um, a great way to practice um, their writing skills. So I'm going to go through and tell you six reasons why I think that these activities are such um, a great way to build your classroom community and improve your kids' writing skills. And Tina, she said she would love to bridge the gap from performance level to grade level. And this can help this can help with your students writing so that's what this is about so it can help them improve their writing um, and I actually do have some other resources I'm coming out with pretty soon that will help even more with bridging the gap from grade level to grade level um, so definitely keep an eye out for that um, but these will help with your students writing and um, with building your classroom community okay so number one reason why these activities are so awesome is that Secret student activities help students build their writing skills. So um, because the students will be writing regularly, this regular practice will add up and um, it will help them build their skills. And you can even have student request that the students use their best grammar and punctuation and even use some of their vocabulary as they write their letters. It's just a great way for the kids to practice their writing on a regular basis. You can give them a prompt each day that they'll write. Um, and it's just a really good way to practice that in a fun way. Okay, so number two is secret student activities promote kindness. And you probably noticed, but right now there's a lot of negativity going around on social media and in the news and even in our schools and classrooms. Our kids can feel all the stress and tension that are always going on in this crazy world that we live in. So anything that can promote, promote kindness and positivity is a great way, a great thing to incorporate into your classroom. And this will do just that because the kids will be doing nice things for each other. They'll be writing kind letters. They'll be looking for ways and being proactive in trying to be kind to each other. And it's really a lot of fun because the kids, when you start these activities, they just love it. They just really get into it and they really want to be nice to each other. And it's really awesome. Okay, number three. Okay, if I can get the page. <laughs> okay, so number three, secret student activities help build your classroom community. So along with promoting kindness, um, because the kids are being so nice to each other, it also helps build your classroom community especially as you continue doing these activities um, throughout the year and students have the opportunity to be a secret student for um, a lot of different kids in their class. And usually they're not always like their best friends, you know, that they're always playing with. They'll get assigned a random student that will, that they'll get to know and that they'll help. And it's just a great way to build that community in your classroom. Okay, and number four. Number four is a really good one. So the secret student activities work for a variety of classrooms, ages, and abilities. And I'm trying to, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so it doesn't matter what grade you teach in an elementary grade level. It will work for as long as they can write, this activity will work. Um, so it's great for any grade level, whatever grade level you teach. It's perfect for inclusive classrooms like special education where kids may be on a variety of different levels or even just classes where you have really high kids and really low kids um, these activities will help kind of even bridge that gap in a way like you were saying tina these will help to do that and it's a great way because all the kids will feel involved and they won't feel bad because maybe they aren't at the same level as another kid it's okay because this activity is for everyone and it's just building your community and it could even be great for um, any classroom homeschool groups, special education, anywhere where the kids would be at a variety of levels. Or if they're all on the same level, that's great too. It just doesn't matter. It's just inclusive to any classroom setting. And number five, 
Um, secret student activities are a great way to incorporate holiday and seasonal themes. Um, so you could do it without a theme. You could just do a normal activity where they have another um, kid that they are helping out and writing to. But a fun way to do it is by incorporating it with a holiday. So for example, doing like a Halloween boo for um, Halloween or a thankful turkey for this month, for November. And next month, a secret Santa is a really fun idea. So it's just a way to incorporate that into your teaching. So if, you know, improving writing skills and um, building your classroom community isn't enough, you can also celebrate a holiday in there as well. And it's a three in one. <laughs> And the last one, to me, is the most important one, is the kids love these activities. They love them so much, and they beg to do more and more. Teachers who have done these activities before have told me that their kids love it so much, and they beg to do the next one because it's just so exciting, and the kids love it. They love having a secret person, a secret friend. They love doing kind things for them. And being on the receiving end, it's so fun to get those letters and to feel like someone cares about you and that someone's looking out for you too. So it's just really a fun activity that you can do with your kids in your class. Okay, so now that you understand why I love these activities so much, I'm excited to share my newest growing bundle with you. Um, and so this is my um, secret student writing growing bundle. And it includes one of my secret student activities for every month of the year. <laughs> um, and I just released this bundle yesterday, okay? So, so far, and it is a growing bundle, so that means it's not completed yet. Um, so far, it includes three sets. It includes the Halloween Boo, Thankful Turkeys, and Secret Santa. Now, each of those usually sell for $6 each. There will be a total of nine of them when the bundle is completed. So there will be six more. It will be worth $54. But the bundle right now is only $20. So um, you could purchase the first three right now, just the Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas ones for $6 each, that's $18. Um, but right now, you can get the growing bundle for just $20. Um, and that is on my TPT store and on my website. And that price will be until I put up the next set. So um, that will be really soon because I've already started it. It will probably be within the next week. Um, so it's the lowest price you're going to see. If you're thinking you want to wait for another sale, um, the lowest price is right now. But tonight only, there's another special deal, okay? So I have a limited time offer. Um, <laughs> to, there we go. So limited time offer. So tonight only you can save an additional 20% off the price. So you can use coupon code last chance 20 on my website and that will give you another 20% off the price of the growing bundle. So that will make it only $16 for $54 worth of teaching resources. Now the coupon code will only work on my website because on TPT we don't have a way to do coupon codes. And I'm also passing along the savings of the TPT commission to you. So it's that 20% instead of TPT taking it, I'm passing that savings along to you. So that's why I'm able to offer such a great deal. But the reason it's only good for today is because tomorrow I have an awesome web designer who's doing a complete redesign of my website. So my website will actually be down for the next few days starting tomorrow. So tonight only you can get that deal for an extra 20% off. If you missed that deal, it's totally fine. Just go to TPT and buy it there because it's the lowest price you're ever going to see. And $20 for $54 worth of stuff is a great deal. Okay, so um, I just wanted to show you a little bit more in here. Um, and I will show you my Secret Santa activity because I think that that is the one that most of you will be able to do really soon here. Um, if you have school this week and next week, you could possibly do the turkey one, but you would have to remove some of the um, prompts from it and just make it a shorter activity. Um, but the Secret Santa, there's plenty of time for everyone to do the whole thing. Um, so I will show you that. And this one is also really special to me because um, one of my friends 
um, let me do it in her classroom with her kids um, once I created it. And it was so much fun. The kids absolutely loved it. And um, it was just a really great time. Um, so it comes with all the lesson plans that you need. Um, you've got your intro lesson here. So for the intro lesson, um, it starts with um, the Secret Santa story. So this is an original story that I wrote. And um, it starts with a boy. His name is Andy. And um, he. there's another kid in his class, Carlos, who he's not very nice to. He's kind of picking on him. And you know, that tends to happen sometimes in our classrooms um, that kids pick on each other. Um, but in the story, Santa Claus noticed this and wrote him a letter and basically told him not to do that anymore. So this is what he said. I have noticed that one of your classmates has been feeling left out. He has not been invited to join in with your friends on the playground. Since I cannot come there personally, I need you to be his secret Santa and look out for him. Make sure to include him on the playground and find other ways to help him. Your friend, Santa Claus. And the lesson ends with an, um, with an invitation for the students to become a secret Santa for another student in the class. So what you'll do is you will fill in these cards with your students' names. They're editable, so you can just fill it in and you can put these in a Santa hat. You can put these in a Santa hat or a gift bag. It's just a really fun way to do it by putting it in one of those. But if you don't have that, you can just have them on your desk or in a basket or whatever. Um, so you'll type in the names there. And once you've done that, cut them up and put them in something, have the kids draw them out and you'll record on these sheets. Now the really cool thing is when you type the student names here on the student name cards, they will auto populate onto the recording sheet. So um, you won't need to type their names again. That's a huge time saver. You can just type in the names of the kids who um, they draw. And it's really important to fill this part out because inevitably kids will come and be like, I don't remember who I had. So that's why you need to make sure to record it so you know because um, you'll need to remind a few students. <laughs> okay, and then there are two part, two different writing prompts, that two different types. There's a, the Secret Santa writing prompts or for the different holidays it will be, you know, another themed version of this. Um, and the report to teacher. So the Secret Santa ones are the ones that they use to write to their assigned classmate. So for example, this one says, tell your classmate one thing that you like about them. It can be a personality trait or any sort of compliment. Use descriptive words. So that would be what they would write to their friend. Another example is explain something that your classmate is very good at. It could be academic, a sport, a quality, a talent, etc. Be thoughtful. So those are two examples. There are a total of 10 of those. And an, another one is a little bit different, but these are really fun. The kids love these. It's write a letter to your classmate giving only one clue of who you are. It should be something a little bit tricky that they may not know about so they won't know right away because they don't want to give away who they are, but they could to give a little clue because that's a lot of fun, you know, trying to solve the mystery of who the person is. Um, the kids just love that aspect of these. So there are 10 of these and I printed them out just to show you, but I, you would project them onto your board if you have access to do that, or you could write them on the board, or I also included printable versions and those are, I included printable versions so you can print them out if you prefer to do that. I would just display them or write it on the board because that just seems to be easier. Um, then the other type is the report to teacher. So because we don't only want them writing kind things, we also want them doing kind things. And this is the accountability part in that. Um, so an example of this would be, what is one kind thing you've done for your classmate this week as their secret Santa? So this is just the accountability because the kind deeds is really where the classroom community building experience comes. It's not just through writing the letters, but it's through doing kind things for that person. Okay, and then after that, so I've included 
um, differentiated writing pages. So obviously um, this one has a um, spot to draw a picture and just a few writing lines. So just for younger kids who, you know, can just write a little bit and then draw a picture, that one will work. Then there's the intermediate one. So that has no picture, but it has um, a bigger spacing between the lines. <laughs> um, you might use that for like second or third grade. And then you have the um, one with the lines closer together. So you can choose which works best for your class or use a mix, like if you have a variety of students in your classes, completely up to you. And these can be used for both the um, Secret Santa prompts or the report to teacher. Linda, I'm so happy you joined us, thank you. Okay, so we have, after that we have our big reveal activity. So the students will reveal who they are with these reveal cards. So the names here will also auto-populate from when you typed them before. And there's a few suggestions on how you could use these. One way is you could cut them out and put them on your students' backs and they can go around and ask yes or no questions to try to figure out who their person is. Another suggestion is that you could um, have the student sit in a circle and kind of guess who their person is. They might be able to figure it out from the kind things that were done to them. And then have each kid take it over to them once they've solved the mystery. <laughs> and then at the end, there's the thank you card because it's so important to say thank you. Oh, Linda, so glad you're checking out my website. Let me know if you have any questions. I will be happy to help. Okay, so now that we've gone through that one, um, for those of you who've just tuned in and Linda was checking out my website, I um, wanna remind you what this comes with. So it comes with all these activities. It comes with the cover and the bundle only. You get the cover, the binder spines. So I included them for a variety of binder sizes. Um, the back cover, just to keep it matchy. Um, the divider pages and tabs. So for the divider pages, I printed them out on cardstock and the tabs I laminated and just super glued on there. So it was really easy, not too difficult to do. Um, so you'll get all that. And then I'm gonna go through and show you what all the other activities are for the other months. Um, so really quickly, um, you kind of already saw with the Secret Santa, the layout of the activities. Um, but I'll just show you the other ones really quick. So we have the Halloween Boo. It came with your lesson plans. Um, the original story. The writing cards. And remember, when you type the names on here, they'll also auto-populate onto the recording sheet and to the final reveal cards. You have your writing prompts. These are the printable versions that I talked about, but there's also the version that you can display and those are what I recommend using. Then the, this one, I included two different versions of the writing pages because for the boo, it's really fun for the students to have that message on top that says you've been booed. You know, like the neighborhood activity where you leave the treats, um, except this time it's the letters. And there's the differentiated pages then there's the report to teacher pages and the reveal cards. Then we have the thankful turkey, same pattern. It has the lesson plans um, that you need. And then I forgot to print out the parent letter for the other two, but a parent letter is included for all of these um, because sometimes the kids will come home and they'll start talking about it like, oh, we're doing a thankful turkey activity or we're doing a secret Santa. And the parents are like, oh, wait, wait a second. Am I supposed to bring like a present or something? And this letter just explains, no, this is an in-class activity. Nothing is required of you. It just kind of explains it because the kids, you know, they get really excited about these things, but they might not be able to relate all the information to their parents. So this will do that for you. And it's already done. All you need to do is add your name and the dates on there if you would like. You can also change the letter if you want. It's completely editable. <laughs> and that's included. There's one of these with every set and there will be in the future ones as well. Um, again, the cards that will auto-populate. Recording sheet that you'll keep track of who has who because that's very important. Um, the writing 
comps. You'll get the display versions as well. The thank you report, or the report to teacher, sorry. <laughs> and the thankful for you. The reveal cards. And the thank you page. And we already went over the Secret Santa, so I'm gonna just go through and show you these other ones and kind of explain um, how they work. Jennifer, I'm so glad that your kids have loved the Thankful Turkey activity, and I'm so glad you've joined us here. Thank you so much. And thank you, Daniel, for tuning in as well. I'm glad that you think they're well thought out. I have put a lot of time into these, and I'm so glad that so many teachers out there get to use these. It means a lot to me. Okay. So the January one is the Friendly Snowman, and it, it's kind of like Frosty the Snowman, but that's trademark, so we can't use that. But, um, so it's just your Friendly Snowman who um, the students will be for their peers. Then the Valentine's Day one is for February, that's a heart attack. So the letters um, will be heart-shaped for this one. It's gonna be a lot of fun because it's like a heart attack. <laughs> you know, the kids will get tons of letters that are heart-shaped and it's fun and engaging for the kids. Emily, I'm so happy you're here. Thanks for joining us. Um, and the kids just love these heart, they'll love the heart-shaped ones. I mean, I haven't made it yet, but they will love it. <laughs> okay, and then the Sneaky Leprechaun. This one's for March. Um... For April will be some bunny, like some bunnies looking out for you. Okay, and the end of the year one. So the end of the year one is going to have a little twist and it's going to be a lot of fun because if you've been doing these activities throughout the year, you'll have built a really strong classroom community and um, the kids will be ready to share all the memories that they've had throughout the year. And then it will end with students creating an end of year award for their peer. So it'll be really meaningful because they won't be getting an award just from you, but it will be from one of their peers. So it'll just be really special, especially when you've been, you know, building that classroom community all year long. And finally, the last one will be a fun back to school introduction activity. And obviously that will be for next year, just like, you know, the Halloween one and possibly the turkey one. But that's the great thing about these is they will work every single year. Even if you change grade levels, they're still applicable because of the differentiated writing pages and because they're naturally differentiated because it's just based on um, your own student's writing ability and the requirements that you give them for their writing.